they had me on my back and then they all swarmed at once bony hands pawed at me their grunts and groans rang in my ears i screamed as their sharp fingers punctured my chest and ripped it open i kept screaming as they lowered their ugly heads and began to feed Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the first Wine Wednesday of October. Oh, don't you just love October, the Halloween month and just wearing costumes and just having fun? So anyway, that was weird opening for a Wine Wednesday, was it not? I know you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, she's lost it. But you know what? Friday night, I had a great wine and i'm cheating and i'm using that same wine so i don't have to open another bottle the same week well kind of like the same week so open this on friday for my wink wine diaries and now it's we're into october and i thought you know what let's do a wine wednesday let me cheat again and use this open bottle of wine but i have to do something special i have to do something different i yeah different different's the key word right so anyway i had this lovely lovely spartico wine from spain on friday and it was really nice it was a red blend and it was spartico probably saying that wrong but it's got a nice red label here so it's kind of like blood red so i thought that went with my costume as well don't you but anyway this is a red blend from 2021 and on the back of this it also told me what the percentage was so it was 85 percent tempranillo and 15 percent Cabernet Sauvignon so it was really good it was a deep deep purple and I could taste blueberry and raspberry there's some cherry in here there's undertones of chocolate there's cedar wood it was aged in cedar barrels there's some baking spices in here I had it with a Mexican platter from one of the local restaurants it was like a combination plate so so good so tonight, anyway, I woke up this morning and I'm thinking, I still want to do this wine Wednesday and I had no idea what I was going to have. And I was thinking I might be able to just order a pizza or something after work. But I woke up about four. I couldn't get back to sleep and it was about 40 degrees. So it was pretty chilly out. And I'm thinking, you know, this is a good day for chilly. So um like i said i couldn't get back to sleep so i went in the kitchen and i chopped up some onions and some peppers and some fresh garlic and i had that in olive oil just kind of frying in my pan with some spices i had some ground turkey that i defrosted in the microwave put that in there i didn't really have chili fixings but what i did have you know and i know this is cheating i had two cans of chili that every now and then when you're just in the mood for some nachos yeah so i took those two cans dumped it in the crock pot once the ground turkey was done put it in there with everything else put it on low and went and just had it simmered i had a target home delivery today for some food so i had them pick up some cornbread for me and that's going to be my dinner tonight and i know and it's fitting you know having this dress on with my guts hanging out and then thinking of having chili right i know how how creepy is that so anyway love this costume i ordered this last year from Walmart and I could have ordered it in like August September it was right when Halloween was coming out and I knew I had some costumes that didn't fit anymore and I needed something larger so yeah I ordered this one forgot all about it it didn't come in until maybe January so I just kind of shoved it in my drawer and said uh, I probably should have canceled it but I didn't but anyway so I was rummaging through looking for something the other day some sweaters and came across this and said you know what this is perfect I've got the zombie background here 
from Timu. I've got my Walking Dead tin. I love the Walking Dead. And I thought, I'm going to have some red wine. I'm going to have some chili. This dress with the guts hanging out, it's perfect. Alrighty, so let me stand up again so you can see this dress. So anyway, I've got this fake chest here that I really love. I wish I had that in person. And yeah, so there's my guts here just kind of hanging out. It's a nice stretchy. It is a mini dress. So um, if I were to wear this out like to work or something, I would just put on some really thick, my heavy white tights, wear it with some sneakers, and I would be good to go. Maybe maybe put some ketchup or something hanging down my throat hanging down not my throat hanging down from my lips maybe i'd even wear that blood red lipstick i know isn't that cool so anyway let's get into our dinner here so again that's so why i made some chili and of course i've been talking so long that it's starting to get cold but so i've got my chili in here made with ground turkey i've got some low fat cheddar cheese here and some low calorie or no fat sour cream yeah not the same and my bowl is hot my food is not and i got this cornbread put some butter on it toast it in the oven first to get it nice and crispy so that's going to be my dinner tonight and we're going to have this wine and yeah i didn't get all my halloween stuff out but i do have my vampire glass here for my vampire wines so you know they are going to be in the mix for this month so let's pour a little bit of this wine in my glass and it was a deep deep purple really nice it's still at room temperature i did have that screw cap so that was like perfect here so you just see how deep purple this is a deep purpley red it's got a nice alcohol content it was like 14 percent so you can see it kind of coating my glass right there i'm just going to stir it around in the glass a little bit Again, just letting those fragrances in the wine breathe a little bit more, having just kind of all the flavors just come come together. I can smell it from here. This is so, so good. All righty, ready? Cheers, everyone. Happy Wine Wednesday. Happy Just Wednesday. It's hump day, everybody. I hope you're excited. We are halfway through the week. Cheers, everyone. And again, yeah, I can, the alcohol, the fumes, just kind of you feel it right here, right away definitely the blueberry is really prevalent the raspberry now i know that thing that i couldn't i think i said cherry and then i changed my mind and said it was raspberry and i didn't know what the third fruit was it was cherry so yeah and get it i can tell you smell the cedar it was i knew it wasn't oak but i couldn't really pinpoint it i thought it was cedar but it wasn't positive cheers everyone and again i have no idea why my finger does that at least it's not the middle finger Mm. this is nice it's still the room temperature i think if anything it's even better than it was on friday the flavors are just really just come alive when it's warm it says that you can serve this slightly chilled as well and you know back in the day i always thought wine had to be cold and if it was warm yeah i didn't want anything to do with it and now that i'm getting into it and tasting a little bit more sometimes these red wines the room temperature the flavors are just so much more vivid and just they just really come alive there's uh, some acidity in here so you can feel it back here from the fruits from the red raspberries the cherries the blueberry so as it's dry in here from the uh, the tannins and being aged in the cedar barrels it starts to get back here in the back of your mouth and your throat and those flavors the acidity kicks in your mouth just starts to water and it just kind of brings those flavors to life again and again it's nice and smooth it's velvety soft it's i'm you know it is like a medium to full body it is so close to being full it's nice and smooth that's probably the chocolate that they say is in here the chocolate undertones it's really really good cheers gonna have another sip i'm gonna go like this yeah let me put that finger down yeah just in case someone thinks I was flipping you the bird with my ring finger well index finger cheers hmm. I need to do more crock pot things now that the colder weather is coming though I don't want to get up early every day usually if I wake up at four I just say oh that's disgusting and I go right back to sleep but for some reason today I was excited and I was thinking about all night what to have tomorrow. Well, which is today for Wine Wednesday. Really had no idea. I was thinking of a pizza or something. So glad I got this because I'm going to get a couple of meals out of this. 
Cheers, everyone. That is good. And my cornbread. I know how, how, how stupid is that to put it <laughs> with a spoon. Anyway, cheers. Mm. That is so, so good. So I'm going to have another quick step to wash this down, and I will be right back. And this is really good. So anyway, I think I need to make sure I get some more Tempranillo. Seeing how that's 85% Tempranillo, I must like Tempranillo wines. But anyway, I hope everyone had a fabulous Wednesday. Oh my gosh, we are halfway through the week. We are into October. Let me have your kids decided what they want to be for Halloween yet, or are they going back and forth between costumes? Do you reuse costumes? Or do your, you know, I, I know back in the, the day we used to always reuse costumes and use hand-me-downs, give them to our, you know, like my brother, sisters, you know, things like that, so that their kids could wear the costumes. Of course, growing up, we just had store-bought costumes with those plastic masks that just sweated and you were miserable in them you couldn't wait to take it off there was just a quick little slip-on and nylon thing and costumes just over the years have changed and when my girls were little we I, I used to love to make their costumes yeah i was like a stay-at-home mom for a while and i loved sewing and making their costumes and then just sharing them with friends and everything like that but anyway what are your children going to be this year? Are you dressing up for work? Are you going for Halloween parties? What kind of treats are you going to have? Because I might need those treats to uh, have in my wine diaries and wine Wednesdays this month. So anyway, I'd love for you to share your thoughts. What do you think of this costume and the Walking Dead and the zombie theme? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get started in October. And I'm so excited that you guys are here to join me. You guys you guys rock. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. You guys mean the world to me. I appreciate you more than you know. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, why the heck not? Take a second, just hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And I hope everyone just goes out, enjoys the rest of the week, enjoy the fall weather. Well, it's fall weather for me. I don't know what fall weather is like for you. But anyway, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And I cannot wait to see you in our next video. Bye-bye.